What's crack lacking everyone and welcome back to what is another on the sleep video and today we are cracking open none other than not one, not two, but four Rebel Clash build and battle pre-release kits and this right here is aka an episode of Search the Goal. So guys, if you get no idea what a uh, build and battle kit or a pre-release kit is, basically it's something that they give you if you go to a pre-release event. So a couple of weeks before the set comes out, every weekend, Pokemon hold these like events where you can go into a trading card shop and you can use the brand new set that comes out in the next couple of weeks and battle people with it, learn about the set, try to get good pulls. But unfortunately with like social distancing at the moment, Pokemon can't hold these events. So Pokemon like called all the game shops and they were like, Guys, you've got the AOK. -okay. Sell the pre-release kits, but no need to hold the tournament. So I literally walked down to my store this morning and they're like, I've got a bunch of these Ando, but I can't have the tournament. Do you want to buy four of them? And I was like, say no more, Jimmy. So I've now got four of these pre-release kits and I think a lot of people normally wouldn't open these. These are something you'd save because, you know, it's not something that comes out all the time. You'd save them, they go up in price, but I thought today, let's open them all, see what we can get. I've actually had really good luck in the past with these, like, pre-release kits where I may or may not have pulled a Rainbow Red Charizard, but then I went and ripped it. But the point was, the Rainbow Red Charizard was in that set, okay? No need to get PTSD over that. Jeez, okay, let's open this bad boy up though and let's see what we can't get today. Rebel Clash also isn't meant to be out till next week, but I've also nearly got a full binder full, so maybe I'll show that off as well. Um, I've done really well with this set so far and hopefully today's no exception. Looks like a little, uh, a little booklet. Maybe it's like a uh, advertisement, not a booklet. Look at that. Galarian Pokemon are ready to rock. All right, Toxtricity, you look sick. Hopefully... I can pull- Oh, look at this! Some sort of Toxtricity. You get your Rebel Clash promo card. Oh, it's like the EX era. You know in the EX era, the reverse cards always had the logo on it? It looks exactly the same. I forgot, sorry. It's been ages since I last did the pre-release kit. No way, look at that. So, Holo Luxray, right? But it's got the Rebel Clash Sword and Shield logo down there. So, you know, it's a pre-release version of the card. So, okay, already, boom, straight off the bat. Holo Luxray uh, promo card, I guess. Put that one down there. Then you get all your cards that you're going to use if you're going to build a deck and verse everyone with. Because the point was, you get one of these boxes. You can use the boosters or these cards, form up a deck and try to play people with it. But obviously, we're not going into um, try and take people out today. We're trying to get the good pulls. Grim Snarl as well. This is actually not too bad. Then a code card. You guys can have that. And I guess let's just open up the first four boosters and then I'll we'll open up um, all three of these and we'll open up the boosters at the same time. It's actually hopefully going to actually have something good as well in here. Because my thoughts and opinions on these things is they kind of rig it because they want people to have competitive cards right. So some of them have to have really good pulls because... People are going to need good Pokemon to play each other with, Sonya. And the other thing is as well, they're going to need good trainer cards, right? Because they need like good things to take people out with. So maybe we can get a couple of good full art trainers. Maybe even a Giovanni full art rainbow rare. Oh man. It's kind of scary though, because I've been reading a fair bit about Rebel Clash pull rates, right? I did pretty good in my booster box. I felt like the Pokemon company was like super nice. They sent us out the set like early to have a look at. And I felt like I did good. But I was reading about a lot of people opening up heaps of this set and not getting too much. So apparently it's like, it's a difficult set to try and pull the shiny Frost Moth and Galarian Berserker in. I still think we can do it though. I think it adds to the victory if we end up going and pulling it. Ludicolo as well. So let's just take it as it comes, see what we can get. And hopefully... Another starter, like, you know, Full Art Cinderace, Inteleon, Rillaboom, any of those just regular Full Arts, that would be awesome. Alright, so we've got a Lightning Type Energy right there, aka the Banana Energy. We've got Chatot, good old Charger Bug, aka the Magic School Bus, Impidimp, Shinx, then Sandy Gas, Roly Coly, Stunky, and that's it. We're gonna end it on a regular rare, aren't we? Sigalith, you are cool. There's also a couple of Holo cards I still need to get in this set too. So, it's going to be good. I think no matter what, even if it... Oh, whoa. <laughs> no way. The whole first one is poop. Even if these are all like, you know, elephant diarrhea, I don't care because it fills up our binder pretty good. 
So we've got a water type, and I want to show you guys that binder at the end of today's episode. Uh, Stunk Hank, Mr. Mime, Snover, Pit of, and then Mr. Mime Galarian Form, and Galarian Berserker, who's just rubbing it in. He's like, dude, look at me. I'm not a gold card, but a regular rare. So let's open up these three. Let's get the seal of approval off, get the boosters out, and let's just start a search for the gold episode. We're going to get some good pulls today, guys. Let's do it. Alright, this actually isn't too bad guys. We did really really well. We got two Colossal and then we got uh, two Luxray. We already opened one So I guess I'll leave this one sealed because we've already seen the promo But we'll open this one up so I've got both of these promos we can pop into the binder after and you guys can have the code as well Let's put you to the side. Look at the holo promo guys. Oh, it's killer I love when the logo's right there bit of a flare looks cool. So Colossal I'll put you at the back nice promo card ironically that's the second hit of the entire opening so far. Bruh. Let's hope for the best. And then we're just going to have a bunch of competitive cards or like deck building cards right here. Which should be a little bit different. These shouldn't be exactly the same. Barboach. Then we've got Wishcast as well. Shrubbish. Incense. Sonya. Hop. Man, this is just sort of tempting us. Like, you could get a Sonya Fuller in your uh, booster packs right now. And then we're going to have Grimmsnarl. Look at him. What a beast. All right. So let's put you guys to the side. I'm going to put this uh, in my sealed collection along with Luxray. And we've got our two promos. So let's just open up a bunch of boosters and hope for the best. Oh man, hopefully get one good pull. One fuller is what I'm thinking. If I can get that, I'd be a happy man. Because surely these aren't all bad. Unless like, I don't know. You'd think about it. Like if these were all bad, that means the competition that they would play at the card shop would be like... I guess a bit boring because you'd only be dealing with uh, hollows or regular rares. Wingo, Natu, Barboach as well, and then Galarian Mr. Mime with a regular rare Toxtricity. Really, really, really want him as like Rainbow Rare. I've seen a few people pull it and it looks gorgeous. Same with the gold cards, man. Like the shine and the glitter on those things, astronomical. It looks so cool. Fourth in the back, we got a fighting type. Tranquil as well. Got the uh, horror energy right there. Growlithe, Roly Coley, Grubbin, Electabuzz, Palpatine Reverse, and then, not too bad, I need this as well. Gyarados Holo Card. Big Storm with 200, Wreck Down with 90. That is awesome. You know, a bit of a throwback to the old Burning Shadows Gyarados, isn't it? That looks fantastic though. Alright, really CGI artwork on that one. Second to last booster of this uh, building battle kit. Open the door of you, put you to the side. There's the code card. Hopefully you guys are getting good stuff in those codes. And let's do this. We've got a fire type. Hopefully summing up the poles we're about to get. Training court, Lampant. Then we've got Magikarp with a Metatite. And then reverse Tranquil that's going to give us a regular rare big giant of Bomber Snow. Rillaboom, I would love you in a regular full up form. I've got the Rainbow Red VMAX. We've got the regular VMAX. We don't have the full up version though. Swing it around. There's the code. And fighting type energy to start it off. Masquerade. We're going to Nugget. Tranquil again. Voltorb. This is a huge set, so we shouldn't see too many double, double ups. It's like over 200 cards massive. Reverse Shuckle and an Arcanine. Regular rare. Wow, these pre-release kits might actually do us nasty one time. Okay, we've got eight boosters left. Let's start with an Inteleon. How have you guys gone? Has anyone in the comments gone to a pre-release event like this and gone and bought a kit? Or maybe you've got your booster box early or something? I would love to know what your pulls are like, what your card you are hunting for, like no matter what, the one thing you really want. Definitely let me know. I mean, obviously for me, one of the two golds um, would be fantastic, but I think any of the starters as full art cards would be awesome as well. We got a bucket reverse. Not too bad. Dragapult holo card. Phantom Force with 120 on the attack. Definitely racking up the holos. This is our fourth holo today. Two promos, and that's not including the still baggy ones. Let's go for a Cinderace. Cinderace, uh, Inteleon, Rillaboom. One of them. It's going to be good. Okay. This is not- this is literally, that's all we got left, is six booster packs. Water type, stadium, but at any minute, one pulls all we need to turn this around. Nose pass, fence up. Bronzor, Toxel, 
Yan Mask Reverse and a Trevenant. Regular rare. Oh, it's just tempting me having Rillaboom on the front, having Toxtricity there. It's like, look what you could get, Ando. Alright, Darkness Type Energy. Pelipper. Bronzong. Then we got a Golden Nugget. Lotad. Growlithe. Roly Coley. Metatite. Barboach. And then none other than a Toxtricity V Max. Get in, son. Yes, that is fantastic. G Max Riot is one of the attacks with 160 plus. Whoa, the colors are insane on that card. Look at that, guys. He's got like a little generator on his bum. Look at that. Just generating electricity right there. What a crazy colorful card. That's awesome. I remember I pulled a couple of these in um, Japanese, but I think that's because the set was really concentrating around Toxtricity. Nice! Okay, I'm psyched about that. We still have five boosters, and technically that's a whole new start as well. I mean... Maybe Pokemon don't really look at the ratios here. Maybe they just give you whatever. So hopefully that's the case. But let's see what we do. We got an unlisted leaf energy, double aid, Heracross, Bucket as well, Roly Coley, Stunky, Clefairy, Caterpie Reverse, and we are on the final. This is it. The last pre release build and battle kit. What do you guys reckon? Surely not. I mean, 1v Max, I'm really happy with it being a Toxtricity. But it shows it's possible. So let's open up. This is four, four to go and that's it. Then I'll show you guys my big binder that I managed to complete yesterday. Super proud of it. I think we did really well out of just like one booster box and one ETB. And now we've got like even more cards we can add to it with our pre-release kits. We got Zarumaka. Got a Flapple. This is always good. I need a Flapple. Appleton. Love him. My favorite Pokemon since new generation. I'm putting you at the... Oh yes! We pulled a holo version! Oh, get out of here. All the praise for Flapple. Yo, I haven't got either of these. That is epic. Double Flapple party. That is awesome. Oh, I get around that. Flapple hollow. Okay, let's put both these at the back. You know what? I'm going to need them anyway. Third to last. Okay, I'm psyched about that. Flapple is always a fun time. Same with Appleton. I can't be too biased. Like, both of them are good. Put you to the side. Another white and green. Oh, we're on the money today, boys. It was this one. It was the middle one that had the goods. Darkness type energy right there. Got the Curse, Shovel, Phalanx as well, good looking card, Trubbish, Pit of, Helioptile, Voltorb, and then the other. No way. No, I swear that was a white, I sw Did you go, can I, have a, can I have a replay on that or was I crazy? I cannot wait to look at that footage right now. Put you to the side, another white and green. Oh, we're on the money today, boys. Okay, I'm quite lost right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just crazy. That's weird. All right. Error, maybe? So we got a Cinderace. Okay, second to last booster. But then hopefully they didn't, like, cook our ratio a bit much. Four from the back. Unlisted lead type. Always good. Speed energy. Metapod. Heliolisk as well. Litwick. Lotad. Clefairy. Voltorb. Growlithe. Voltorb again. And Ninetales. Rillaboom's going to end us off here. Let's open up Rillaboom. Oh, wow. I don't really trust these codes, you know? Even though it's a solid green? Maybe... Oh, I don't know. What, that's just weird as. Got an electric type right there. Training core. It's just throwing me for a six. Lombre, Impidimp, Magma, Electabuzz. And then none other than... Yeah. Oh, I need that too. Cramorant, regular rare. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That was, I don't know, what was that? So our best pull was like the... So we got Flapple Holo card right there. Reverse Flapple. Toxtricity VMAX, I got a feeling it's our best pull today. Then we got Dragapult Holo looking good. Gyarados Holo. Then our two sort of promos as well. 
I don't know if I'd recommend buying one of these bad boys. You might be better off getting maybe one of the new promo boxes, maybe a booster box. But anyway, I did promise you guys a binder recap and I want to show it off and there are a couple of other binders as well. So let's do that. Alrighty guys, so make sure you get a big bag of popcorn ready because I'm about to go over my Rebel Clash bootleg binder. As you can see, I sort of just cut out a uh, booster box and sticky tape down the logo here. Obviously, the set's not even out for another week, but I wanted to, I wanted to build a binder for you guys, show you what was inside and I'm really, really proud of this. So, we got the bootleg logo up there, and then as we turn it around here, the first page of the binder is done. We are finished. So I think that's a pretty good accomplishment. Like, this is only about one booster box, two theme decks, an ETB, and four build and battle kits. So, it's actually a pretty decent job for a set that has over 200 cards. Now, this is where we're starting to miss a couple of things, like we got a uh, blank spot for Rillaboom regular there. Uh, we need Appleton, which sucks, I know. Um, but not too bad, you know? Looking at the amount of cards that we've actually filled in already is a fantastic job. My low tick V goes right there. Um, we've got a couple we need like a Nine Tails, I think, as well. Then we've got good old Ice Coo. So we've got Ice Coo V up here, but we still need the uh, Hollow Form, apparently. And we killed it on the Electricity side. Like, check this out. As we swing it over here, Toxtricity V and Toxtricity V Max and the regular form too. So I'm really proud of that. Toxel as well. Uh, we got more Pico. This is probably our best one though. Like we only need about three cards and we are done with electricity. Then we got the Psychic. Doing okay. I think we still need a fair few more like regular V cards. It's pretty actually hard to come across a few of the Hollows and uh, regular Vs, but I think we did pretty good. Dragapult V Max acquired. We got Dragapult Hollow form as well. Then a few blank spots, but not too many, like only two on these uh, two pages. Then as you keep going here, Santa Conda V, it's already been acquired. Then you move on to the Darkness types. So Galarian Weezing is another one, a holo card that I need. Uh, Malamar as well, that's a classic. So Malamar V Max would be one we need. Galarian Circa in a regular form. We'd love to have that in the gold, but we'll see how we go. An absolutely beautiful, fully filled in metal section right there. Always so satisfying when you see a full page of cards. Um, and it actually doesn't get too bad. Like honestly, back to back like uh, pages, we're only missing one thing there. Now, I managed to buy both the theme decks and that filled in a Zacian and Zamazenta slot in a hollow form. I think normally they're both regular rares, but we got the theme decks, so they're Shattered Glass Hollows. Um, he can come in a hollow form as well, but still looking good. Only two late blank slots right there. And we actually managed to get, I'm pretty sure, every single trainer. What are we missing here? I th what are we missing there? Ah, the regular super scoop up net. So I've got the gold version of that, but I didn't have the regular form. Maybe I do have it. I'll have a look through my collection, but yeah, we've got every single card bar one, which is uh, unreal. Um, we also need the twin energy right here. So that one right there. And then this is my full art slash ultra rare section. For me personally, I think I've done all right pulling uh, these three full arts. Like they're incredible. Milo's an ultra rare one. Rillaboom VMAX, everybody wants. And a gold card. For as little as we opened, I think we did good. But I know a lot of you guys like Ando. There is still so much to go and you're right. All of those full arts are still to be pulled. I've checked off as you can see here, but we need to get all of this. And then as you turn the page over, all of those rainbow rares and the gold cards are going to be painful. We've got this one, got that one, but, and we've also got, where is it, that one. But it's going to be a tough task. I'm pretty proud of this though. Rebel Clash Binder came along really, really fast, way faster than I was expecting. Like, let's be honest, the set's not even out yet, and I'm super proud of what we've done. So I'll keep building it out, and let me know in the comments, do you want me to do a search for the completed Rebel Clash set? I think that would be so much fun. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to turn this into like a uh, look at all of my binders and all of my full art cards, but I do want to touch on this set really quickly because I know I'm going to get so many comments like, Ando, how did your Sword and Shield adventure go? Like, now that chapter's closing, you're opening Rebel Clash. Holy smokes, I'm glad you like left so many comments about this because not only have I like tried to get a master set, I've like, I know I'm really, really happy with how everything turned out with this binder. It's one of the first times that I've actually managed to really smash out um, completing a majority of like what I was aiming to get. Uh, I don't think there's too many holes at all. Like look at this, regular frost moth. I don't think there's too many holes at all throughout this uh, binder. It's only when you get to the uh, ultra rare section, but I was super proud of all the sword and shield bangers we got right. I was just having a look through it before, but it's what's after this that blew me away. So we got all the trainers, 
And yeah, like, we got the whole, like, master set. Then it just gets to the full arts and sword and shield set. And honestly, I'm not too fast. Like, even though there are blank holes right here, if we pull them, we pull them. There's going to be so many more products coming out. This is the base set of sword and shield. So give it time. You don't want to rush it. But really, really happy with how, like, well this turned out. And on top of that, look at that. We got both of my main gold cards I wanted to get. We got a good majority of the uh, trainer gold cards as well. Then we started to get the double ups. But what I didn't realize is we opened up a lot of Rebel Clash in Japanese. So when I turn over this page, I have basically completed the entire Rebel Clash set, but just in Japanese, which is insane. So I had to show you guys like what a full completed set looks like. I mean, check this out. So I don't know where to start. Like you got Rainbow Rare Toxtricity up here and you can compare it to like the Rainbow Rare uh, Rillaboom that we got. We've got Golden Shiny Flippin' Frost Moth. How good does that look? That is awesome. The Cinderace card, so Cinderace VMAX, Cinderace Full Art card, Farlings, Inteleon, Malamar, Dragapult, and like the main man himself, Giovanni's Full Art. So I thought this was an awesome comparison. This is what I'm aiming for our binder to look like in say, a couple of weeks if we open up a lot of products, but I was super proud of this. And this is the Rebel Clash in Japanese done really, really well, so. I thought I'd show you guys, you guys probably appreciate that. It was really cool to see another golden shiny frost moth in real life, like, I'd love it in English. But yeah, this was me building out a Japanese, um, oh, there's more. So yeah, <laughs> Rillaboom, Cinderace, uh, Full Arts, it's really sick. And I think there's, yeah, there's even more as well. Dragapult, we got Snorlax VMAX, Rainbow Red that we doubled up on somehow. Uh, more Picos, look at this. These are all my double ups with my V cards. For everyone asking, yes, I keep all my cards. Um, we got the Meowth from the Meowth box. Couple of, look at this, this is those pre-release boxes. The Mystery Dungeon promo that I love. Then we got Lapras as well, Keldeo. Marnie Full Art, doubled up on that. These Zassians were selling for like 40 bucks a pop at one stage, so that's like $120 worth of Zassians. But yeah. That was my Sword and Shield binder, which I'm really proud of. And if this video gets like, say, 6,000 thumbs up, I'll show you guys all of my binders, like these bad boys right here. We'll go over my entire collection, but I feel like this is for another day. This is just, uh, it's something else. So yeah, guys, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. Do you want to search for the completed set of Rebel Clash? If you do, demolish the like button. Thank you so much for watching, supporting all my adventures. I really hope we can complete the whole binder soon. Um, I want to do a massive opening this week. If you're down, let me know. Let me know how you're doing in the set as well. Most of all, gonna keep on gaming. Till next time, I'll see you then.